how can we paint a picture that captures the historic canvas of June 19th? If I were to try, I would recall words smuggled out of a jail cell in Birmingham, Alabama that read as follows, justice too long delayed is justice denied. A picture once verbally painted by Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to describe the shackles of injustice prolonged by complacency. If I were to give you a glimpse of what June 19th, aka Juneteenth, really looks like, I would start with words once smuggled out of a jail cell. Justice too long delayed. This graphic picture gives us the equivalent of what black and brown bodies once experienced in 1863. Hungry souls waiting for a day of freedom that had to be smuggled all the way over to 1865, only because emancipation once proclaimed was too long denied. In other words, the fact that President Abraham Lincoln declared two years earlier that slaves shall be free forever, it still had no bearing on the liberation of an enslaved people until two years later on June 19th. The celebration of that day, we simply put those two words together. We get this phrase, Juneteenth, justice delayed, but no longer denied. So Juneteenth represents the liberation of an enslaved people, but also gives us this cinematic view of waiting to experience something that you already possess. These people were free in theory, but they were bound in reality. It's the equivalent of receiving an outdate, but not being fully released until two years after that initial proclamation. But regardless of how long it took to get there, regardless of the delay, it's still a day worth celebrating. We call it Juneteenth. Just picture Union soldiers arriving on Texas soil to inform human beings of a darker shade that they in fact had human rights. Then walk with me through the wilderness of racial injustice experienced even after the Declaration of 1865. Then stroll with me through the jungles of America that boasts mass incarceration even after the 13th Amendment. I just want you to understand the history behind the holiday. Juneteenth should easily remind us of how many times Pharaoh historically resisted Moses until one day the children of Israel walked out of Egypt. Juneteenth should easily call to mind that wise old adage that says the truth shall set you free. Juneteenth should and will day one become a national holiday in all states commemorating that graphic picture once painted by a Birmingham jail inmate but remixed by God to say delayed but not denied. So before we look to the sky for red, white, and blue fireworks on July 4th, let us also see the tricolored red, black, and green flag lifted on June 19th that represents the heart of an enslaved and liberated people. I pray that I just painted a good picture for you of the historic holiday that we call Juneteenth. Let's celebrate it together.